My name is Mark Tattel. I'm an associate professor in the neuroscience program here at Wellesley College, and I talked about the role of hormones in decision making. I think it's important to talk about the role of hormones in decision making because all the Albright Fellows will be dealing with how people make decisions. So the field that I'm going to be talking about is, is neuroeconomics, the neuroscience of decision making. And I think all the Albright Fellows will be dealing with individuals or groups of people who will be faced with making decisions. And the more the Albright Fellows can understand about the neuroscience of decision making, the better they'll be. The most important things I talked about today with the Albright Fellows we started talking about the role of hormones and sexual differentiation of the brain, how the brain becomes more male-like or more female-like. And then we talked about the role of hormones in decision-making with a focus on financial risk preferences, so risk-taking that takes place in a financial context. Um, and then we talked about some of the sex differences that exist in these, in these decisions, so some of the differences between men and women and the roles that hormones may play in that decision-making process. I think the most important message that the Albright Fellows could take away from this lecture was the idea that decision-making has a science behind it and that there are lots of factors, such as hormones, that play a role in that and that they should be cognizant of that when they're dealing both with individuals and groups of people. I think the piece of advice I'd like to share with the Albright Fellows is that when they're dealing with individuals in, in decision making is that they understand the context in the, with, with which those decisions are being made. One thing that we talked about today is the role of stress in decision making and how that can affect men and women differently. And I think it's important for Albright Fellows to understand that when dealing with individuals or groups of people who are making decisions that factors like stress can alter the way they make decisions and that they should be aware of this. Uh, in meeting with the Albright Fellows, I think the thing that's impressed me the most is how much drive and passion they have for their, the work that they want to do. And I think it really shows that Wellesley is, is the right, right place for these people, that they can come here and take on these global issues and with the right amount of drive and passion and commitment, they'll really be able to achieve what they want to do. And I've found that inspiring myself.